so lucky to have our friend Fred Armisen leading the band all week. It's great to see you, Fred. Hi. It's, um, it's so fun to have you here because you can always keep me up to date on your other projects. But this one I had to see because you've sort of been doing a, a bit of a press tour. I saw you on Good Morning America. I saw you on NBC's very own Today Show announcing that you have a competing holiday with Valentine's Day that you're starting this year. That's right. Okay, well, we would love, I think we would all love to hear about it. Um, it's called Acquaintance Day. Okay. So we're just celebrating people that you know kind of well. You know, you, you, you see them once in a while, every couple of years. Okay. And those are really important relationships. You know, people you don't know their last names, but you just recognize their face. And uh, it's just a celebration. So, you know, we're just trying to find a way for people to send cards, find their address first, then send yeah. the card. Right, I would imagine finding an address is difficult if you don't know a person's last name. It's difficult, but at the same time, that's the fun of it. You know, it's that exploration of like trying to find that person. Oh, he, there you are, you know, let's, let's celebrate Acquaintance Day. And now what, we, so example, if Hallmark made an Acquaintance Day card and I opened it up, what would it say inside? Like what's the sort of, the text on those? Remember the time we saw each other. Those times are always great. The times that we saw each other's faces will always, always remember. You're special to me once every two years, <laughs> thinking of you this whole week. It's uh, that kind of thing. That's really great. I'm yeah. so excited. Queen's yeah. Day. Look out, Valentine's Day. Uh, look out. Fred, I'm always so taken aback. You have so many projects, not just film, not just television, not just music, but just over a wide breadth of interests. And I was just reading in the trades, as you like to call it, that you're launching your first celebrity fragrance. Yes. <laughs> um, and um, it's more like an, it's like an ink. Then, so it's like, this ink I'm putting out that's like, it smells like, it's, it has like a very pungent, inky smell. Okay. So, is it actually ink? Like, is it, if you got it on yourself, would it stain like ink? It's not about that, it's about how it smells. Okay. So it's, it's got a very sort of like, inky smell to it. And uh, it's called the Fred Armisen. Okay. And, uh, and so you just- It's called the Fred Armisen? Yeah. Okay. As one word. Okay. Uh, and- <laughs> Why it's, did you choose to make it one word? It was, it was my organization. They choose it for me, so I, I have like a whole crew of people and they come up with all this stuff. And so you so, don't, they don't even go to you for approvals? No, they're so talented and they're so smart. And, okay. uh, uh, Do they bully you, Fred? It seems like they might bully you a little. In, in their own way, okay. which is fine. It doesn't, you know, that's fine with me, but um, it's, a, it's a nighttime fragrance. And uh, so you just, you know, like before you go out, you just put it on. <laughs> And but it doesn't stain like ink. I want to make it sure, because you're doing this, and I feel like if it stains like ink, I don't want to put it on. It stains like ink, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's just, it, it's really, the smell. It's really exciting. Give it up for Fred Armisen, everybody. <laughs> I so enjoy these weeks that you're back with us, not just for your musical skills and your friendship, but also I find out all these new amazing projects you're working on. It feels like every time I open the trades, I'm seeing Fred Armisen's name in bold. And uh, is this true that you are starting your own circus? Yes. Wow. <laughs> um, it's the first uh, non-audience uh, circus. It's a sort of like, it's, a sort of, it's an arena. Okay. And we're not gonna shoot it, we're not gonna film it, but we're gonna have just like one person there to sort of retell the story of what's been going on, on at the circus. Okay. The problem is crowds. You know, trying yeah. to control how they get in and out is a nightmare. Oh, wow. Um, so you I think that's one of the more difficult parts of a circus, not sort of figuring out things like trapeze artists or, or, or tightrope walkers. It's just the crowd getting in and out? The, uh, the trapeze artists and everything, that's, that has its own complications. It's very complicated. But getting the audiences in and, in and out has just been a nightmare. Because okay. I tried it once, and that is never going to happen again. <laughs> so we had this circus, and I was just like, no, stop with the audience. we got to stop. <laughs> The, the time it takes, you know, it's like an hour for them to get in. I was like, just forget it. So <laughs> midway through, I was like, just get them out of here. Just get them out. Oh, so even that first audience, they didn't see the full circus? No. Okay. They didn't. And I was just like, just go. And um, so we're just going to have one person there. So one chair to watch an entire circus. Yes. And then that person leaves. Yes. And then you buy tickets to hear him tell you what happened? Yes. <laughs> but can I ask a question? And I hope you've thought of this. How, when those people buy tickets to hear him tell it, do they have to file in as well? Okay, so 
they do, but there's going to be so much more time. We're okay, going to really it. time it out so that you know they can get in, in and out easy. Okay, great. Well, that's really exciting. And have you picked the one person who's going to see it? Seth. <laughs> <laughs>